So uh, I'm Margaret McNulty. I'm uh, an assistant professor at Indiana University in Indianapolis uh, in the U.S. Um, and so, yeah, I, I essentially teach anatomy to uh, medical students and pr allied health students. So professional, um, you know, physician's assistants, uh, physician, you know, physical therapists, occupational therapists. Uh, my background is actually in comparative anatomy. So before joining IU, I was at uh, several veterinary institutions. So um, I kind of bring that, you know, aspect to a lot of my teaching and research. Um, and so in my research, I do uh, orthopedic research as well as educational research for, um, you know, teaching anatomy and the anatomical sciences to professional students. And one of the things that I believe has been mentioned uh, recently is a joint membership between the AS and as well as the AAA, and that would be fantastic. You know, I, coming from the U.S., it's, we have the AAA meeting, which is encompassing um, and you know, very thorough, and so I don't get the opportunity for funding reasons to come abroad um, and explore some of these other meetings, and so becoming a joint member of both associations would be a fantastic opportunity to learn about, um, you know, the methods of teaching, uh, research, and forming more collaborations uh, between, you know, what I do in the U.S. as well as what is done here abroad. Um, so that would be an excellent opportunity, um, and as a member, I would encourage that, you know, um, some sort of joint membership and encouraging that collaboration between the two associations, because I think we do a lot of the same things. Yeah, so uh, one of the things I love about attending these meetings in general, any really any scientific meeting, is the collaboration. And so coming here, again, you know, this is my first meeting um, abroad and getting, you know, it's difficult, even in our connected world, um, to form these collaborations. I mean, it's hard to just send a cold, cold email to somebody um, or cold call. Um, and so coming to these meetings and meeting people and just discussing um, your research or your education is a great opportunity to meet these individuals. Um, all my collaborations have been formed at meetings such as this, and so I was very excited to be invited to come here um, and start expanding, you know, in the UK and Ireland and, and uh, you know, here in Europe, um, because I think that is just an important aspect of, you know, forging these relationships and finding these collaborators. And again, you know, I feel like it's an opportunity for us to not reinvent the wheel and learn what others are doing so that we can then bring it home um, and either expand on it or make it slightly better um, or, you know, modernize it, um, you know, or tailor it to our specific student population. Because I know there are some differences in, in the way we teach and our student populations themselves. So. Um, so, you know, after briefly looking at the website, um, you know, I saw that there is definitely funding available for research and given the current cl funding climate in the U.S., um, especially with our current administration and the budget that has been proposed, that is a real threat uh, to budget, you know, cuts and getting funding for biomedical research. And so, um, you know, joining the AS would be an excellent opportunity and, you know, taking advantage of some of those member benefits to get funding for both, you know, education and or biomedical research. And what I do would be an excellent opportunity um, to, you know, an excellent impetus for joining both associations. Joining, you know, the AS as, you know, as well as having and holding my membership with the AAA, again, bridging the gap between the two and being able to take advantage, like I said, about those funding opportunities in both, um, the collaborations between both. And, you know, I saw on the website, I'll just, you know, whoever took the picture, um, being a comparative anatomist, I feel like sometimes in a world of human anatomists, um, it, it is a little bit, you know, difficult to find others, and I applaud whoever had the picture on the website of the ox skull. Um, it was very inviting to people like me, um, and and being able to join like-minded individuals and in these comparative anatomists to, um, you know, bridge the gap between the way we teach, the way we do our research, and you know, finding these individuals who you know we can work together and and you know, find these new innovative teaching methods and or uh, scientific findings. So. That would be a fantastic opportunity to both join, you know, the triple or the uh, continue my membership in the AAA as well as the AS, and again, finding that way to bridge the gap between the two. You know, some future contributions obviously would be towards the journals, um, publishing in in Journal of Anatomy, um, continuing publishing in some of the AAA journals such as Anatomical Sciences Education or Anatomical Record. Um, you know, again, I. I 
have been involved in the leadership of the AAA, and so I would like to eventually become involved in the leadership of the Anatomical Society. You know, I feel it's very important to, um, again, like I said, bridge the gap with um, some of the comparative anatomists, with the human anatomists, um, and becoming more involved in that path and finding a way um, to, you know, encourage more membership within both associations, um, because I feel there is a bit of a disconnect between the two. Um, between veterinary, you know, comparative anatomists as well as human anatomists. And so it would be nice to encourage more um, with some of the other associations as well and kind of getting a cohesive anatomy group going and a, a collaboration between all of the associations.